everyone, I'm back with another crochet tutorial. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to crochet a wet sweater in size extra small. So let's get started. For this project, you will need your measuring tab, selected yarn, 4mm hook, marker and cuddler. To begin, make a slip knot and chain a total of 65. After chaining 65, block off the last chain and chain 3. Now, yarn over and insert your hook into the chain that you have blocked. Yarn over and pull through and there will be 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 2 loops. And again, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. And that's a double crochet. Now, repeat this one double crochet till the end of the chain. To begin new row, always chain 3 because we are doing a double crochet. Start working double crochet from the second chain. Repeat this till row number 19. And here I have done row number 19 and now use a measuring tab, measure three and a half inch from the edge and put a marker on both sides.
Back piece of our vest sweater is done already. And now, let's start the front piece. I'll use cable stitch for the front piece. My blue yarns are actually so dark for the cable stitch, so I'm picking this light color just to show you the pattern. Make a slip knot, chain a total of 64. After chaining 64, again chain 4. And in total, there should be 68 chains. Start working from the second chain and complete this row by working single crochet. Chain 1 and turn your walk. Complete this row by working single crochet. After working 2 rows of single crochet, we are going to form a couple stitch. Chain 3 Turn your walk and from the second stitch work double crochet till the last stitch. Chain 1, turn your walk and complete this row by single crochet. From the next row, we'll need to start a double stitch, so chain 3, turn your walk. We'll count this chain 3 as a 1 double crochet and work 2 more double crochet. Now we have 3 double crochet. Count 1, 2, 3 and into the 4 double crochet, make a front post triple crochet. So yarn over 2 times, insert your hook around the back of your 4 double crochet and make a normal triple crochet. Skip the next double crochet and into the next two double crochet, make a front post triple crochet. I hope you can see it clearly. I'll just mark it where we have just skipped. After working 2 front post triple crochet, 
go back and make a triple crochet into the stitch that we have just skipped. And again make a front post triple crochet into the next stitch of your two triple crochet that you have made. Now from here, skip 5 single crochet and from the 6 single crochet, work 3 double crochet. Count 1, 2, 3 and into the 4 double crochet, make a front post triple crochet. So yarn over 2 times, insert your hook around the back of your 4 double crochet and make a normal triple crochet. Skip the next double crochet and into the next 2 double crochet, make a front post triple crochet. After working 2 front post triple crochet, go back and make a triple crochet into the stitch that we have just skipped. And again, make a front post triple crochet into the next stitch of your two triple crochet that you have made. From the six single crochet, Work 3 double crochet. Repeat this till the last stitch. It's a 2 row repeat from here, so always chain 1. Work single crochet from the first stitch till the last stitch. From the next row, we'll need to start a double stitch, so chain 3, turn your walk. We'll count this chain 3 as a 1 double crochet and work 2 more double crochet
Now we have three double crochet. Make a front post triple crochet. Skip this front post triple crochet and into the next two front post triple crochet work front post triple crochet again which is in the middle of this front post triple crochet it's not showing up so much so I'll just mark it where to insert Into the next again, work the same stitch which is right here. After working two front post triple crochet, Go back and make a triple crochet into the stitch that we have just skipped. And again, make a front post triple crochet into the next stitch of your two triple crochet that you have made. Six single crochet, work three double crochet. Now repeat this After cable stitch, always chain 1 and work single crochet. Repeat these two rows which is a cable stitch and next a single crochet. Repeat these two rows again and again until you reach the same length of your back piece. So this is how your cable stitch will look like. And rest of the stitches I'll show you in part 2. If you really enjoyed this video and want this type of tutorial videos from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.